Today we're talking about how to install Pro Tools intro in three easy steps. And if you're a beginner, make sure you stick around to the very end where I give you a bonus tip that you're definitely gonna to want to know. And we're gonna to get to that all after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So if you've come to this channel to learn about music production, mixing and mastering, the latest product reviews, and even music business, then make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a new video. So today, as mentioned, we are talking about how to install Pro Tools intro in three easy steps. So let's begin. Step number one. So the first thing that we want to do is create an Avid account if you don't already have one. And the cool thing now is you can actually license your software while signing up. So we're gonna to go to avid.com. And as you can see in the top left corner here, we have Pro Tools. And if you hover over it, you get access to Pro Tools intro, which is right here where my mouse is at. Click on that. So here on the Pro Tools intro page, we actually don't want to go to buy now or try free in the top right corner. We wanna go down to this link right here that says Pro Tools intro, lit up in blue, click on that. Now on this page here, we can actually download the software. So we're gonna click the download now button. Okay, so this is where you sign up for your account. I already have one, but I'll put in my, at least my email here and I'm not a robot. Hit continue. So this is the furthest I can go with it to show you because I already have an account, but these top sections right here, so sign up, this is where you're actually going to, you know, fill out your email and password here. You'll get a confirmation email. Make sure you click the confirmation within the email. You go to activate. So activate here is going to ask you if you already have a iLock account or not. If you don't have an iLock account, that's fine. You just choose that you don't and then Avid is going to create one for you with the same email and password that you chose here. Once you get past that, you get access to install the software, which is step number two. So the next step is to install Pro Tools, but of course you have to download it first. However, Avid allows you to download slash install it all at the same time, which is pretty cool. So in this portion of the video, I'm gonna talk about it from two different perspectives. So in this scenario, let's say that you used to have a Pro Tools paid subscription and you got rid of it, and now you wanna come back and use this free version. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna log into your Avid account, and then you're gonna to go to the My Products page right here, and then you're gonna go down to Pro Tools Intro, we're gonna open that up, and then you're going to go to the Download button and click that. Now, this opens the same exact page that someone who is newly creating an account would see when they get to the end of the process. So it's likely if you're coming back to Pro Tools, you probably don't have Avid Link. And of course, anyone newly signing up doesn't have it either. So you want to click the download Avid Link button here, download and install it. So pause the video here and then come back once you're done. So this is Avid Link here. In the top left corner here where my picture is, you can simply click on that to get to this page I have here. However, for you, you're gonna to need to log in first. Now, what we wanna do after you're logged in is go down to the products tab right here and click on that. Now, I don't have Pro Tools intro in here and I think that is because I have the paid version and you likely can't install both of them. However, I do have Pro Tools first here, which doesn't exist anymore. So I can kind of show you real fast on what you would need to be looking for. So when you see Pro Tools intro on here, you're gonna see an option here that says download. So when you click download, it's gonna download it for you to your computer. And then after, this is going to change to install, like up here, and then you're simply going to hit the install button and it's going to install it for you. That is how simple it is to install Pro Tools. So as promised, here is your bonus tip. All right, so your bonus tip is I'm going to show you how to properly create a Pro Tools session from scratch to get you started. So after you launch Pro Tools, you should get the dashboard window right here. 
Now, it may look a little bit different than mine because I'm using a paid version, but all the concepts I'm gonna show you are exactly the same. So we're actually gonna close this window because I want to look at the setup playback engine first. So if we go to the setup tab at the top, we go down to playback engine, you're gonna see the window here, and we wanna go down to device. So your playback engine device is your actual audio interface. So let's say you have a focus, right? It's going to show up in the list. Or if you don't have any interface and you want to use your Windows sound card, assuming you're using a PC, you would go to Windows audio device here. OK, so for your hardware buffer size here, just put it on 1024 for now. That's going to use the least amount of CPU. That's good to just have it there. You can adjust it later. Now, the lower this is, the less latency you're gonna have. So when you're actually recording, you do wanna turn this down. But when you're mixing, you wanna have this at the highest sample, and that is 1024 for my computer. Now down here, I do recommend to have dynamic plugin processing enabled, if you have that on the free version. And then you can leave your cache to whatever it's set at. Okay, so after that is all good, hit okay. Now we want to reopen the dashboard window. So if we go up to the file tab at the top, we go down to open dashboard. Here is our window again. So we want to go to the create tab here. So I'm gonna call this, I don't know, test session. That's the name of the session. Now, if you are a beginner, I do recommend saving this locally to your computer, which is what I have selected here. You can also save it up to the cloud. You have limited storage when you're a free user. And then you can also create it from a template, which I don't ever recommend. It's better to start with a blank slate. And then down here, you could choose either Wave or AVE. I always do Wave. For sampling rate, I recommend 48 because 48 works great for both music and video, but you can also do 44.1 if you want. I don't recommend the higher sampling rates because they're gonna be very CPU intensive when you start getting to mixing. All right, and then for a bit depth here, you can either do 24-bit or 32-bit float. I normally do 24-bit. And then for IO settings, I always recommend going to stereo mix. And then lastly, we want to actually choose location on our computer where we want to save the project. So let's click location. Let me drag that over. So under projects here, that's where I'm just going to save it at. So I'll hit use current folder and everything is ready to go. So I'm going to simply hit the create button. All right, so our session is created and we are ready to make some music. So if you wanna learn more about Pro Tools, I have a playlist popping up in the top right corner. It has tons of training videos from beginner to advanced, and it's gonna get you where you need to go. All right, so if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my video on how to record audio in Pro Tools. And with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.